I mean, preseason rankings are just that. It's, uh, it's just paper, but it's about what you go out and can do on the court. And you know, last year we were picked 12th, and uh, we're able to finish fourth. So I'm sure there's some teams picked low that are, uh, you know, going to play with a chip on their shoulder. And hopefully we're one of those teams that uh, plays with a chip on their shoulder. And you know, a Giga and drum right, I think it's well deserved honors. I mean, based on what they did last year at the end of the year and uh, you know, I think both of them have had great off seasons, and I hope both of them have great senior years because if they do, we'll have a good year. We're in Evansville, Indiana, the tournament being moved from Nashville to the Ford Center here in Evansville. Give me your thoughts on uh, the stadium and the city of Evansville. I think it's a first-class uh, stadium in, in the Ford Center. I think any fans that show up at the Ford Center are going to be very, very impressed. And, <laughs> You know, the city of Evansville and, and the state of Indiana as a, as a whole is a basketball crazy place. And I think they'll turn out and, and really support this. And I, I just hope it's a, a great experience for these young men because that's what ultimately that's what it's about. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll be one of the eight teams that have the opportunity to play here. A few weeks into practice, where are the Gamecocks right now? Well, we... Uh, we need to learn how to defend. Uh, if we had to play someone right now, we'd be in trouble. We just, we don't, we don't uh, understand details right now. Uh, the, the importance of rotations off the ball, communication. I think offensively we can score the ball. Uh, my biggest concern, and it's uh, ultimately you're going, you're going to win with your defense. And if our defense doesn't improve here, uh, really, really fast, then we're going, we're going to have some struggles early in the year. And then last year we saw it at the end of the season, the fan pickup at Pete Matthews Coliseum. What are you expecting out of the Jacksonville State fans this year at basketball games? Well, we need them there. I mean, uh, we need to create an environment. Uh, I've always said, you know, if you're going to win championships, the key is controlling your home court. And we didn't do that last year. We, we were pro had the second best record in the league on the road at, and six and two. Uh, Belmont was seven and one, but uh, we didn't control our home court. We were three and five at home, and you know it's not all the fans' uh, fault. I mean, we got to take care of business. But if we can create an environment with uh, our students and our fans uh, and make that a tough place to play, I think you'll see that record change uh, drastically this year.